morning everyone. Thank you all for registering a personal class for the subject of organizational behavior. Okay, my name is Miss Fatin Suhaira Binti Sudeng. Even M MCO is not a barrier for me learn about this subject. So we will start with chapter 1 entitled Introduction to Organizational Behavior. Okay, hmm. let me ask you, what do you understand about organizational behavior? Anyone? Me, maiden. Organizational behavior is the study and application of knowledge about how people act within an organization. It is a human tool for human benefit. It applies broadly to the behavior of people in all types of organization. Very good answer. Let me explain to you guys. Organizational behavior is concerned with people, thought, feeling, emotions, and action. For example, you, ha you all have a task that needs to be complete in an organization. So the boss and also yourself can see action in setting up a work task. So if you guys understand the meaning of organizational behavior, um, okay, let's we go to point to the point goal of organizational behavior. There are four goals. It is describe, understand, predict, and control. Let me understand about describe. The first goal is to describe systematically how people behave under a variety of conditions. Achievements. This goal allows managers to communicate about human behavior at work using a common language. A second goal is to understand why people behave as they do. Managers would soon become frustrated if they could only talk about the behavior of their employees without understanding the reason behind the, this action. Lah. Alright, so uh, as a manager, must understand the reason behind the action of the employee. Third, the manager would be able uh, to predict which employees might be dedicated and productive and which ones might cause problems. Thus, the manager could take uh, appropriate preventive actions. Last goal is control. Since managers are held responsible for performance outcomes, they are vitally interested in being able to make an impact on employee behavior, skill development, team effort and productivity. Managers need to be able to improve results through the action they and their employees take. And organizational behavior can aid them in they are pursuit of this goal. Alright? So, alright. So, now we, mu we must also understand the importance of organizational behavior. Okay. It is developing interpersonal skill, personal development, and understanding other achieve win organizational and individual effectiveness from inter-organizations last sharpening and refining our decisions and actions miss i have one question um miss can you explain more about interpersonal skill all right okay atika for example you are manager so uh, as a manager you have to understand how our employees are it can be conclude that interpersonal skill is the ability of workers to communicate, interact with and maintain relationship with other workers in a variety of circumstances and situation. Ah, so you understand? Oh, Alright. Thank you, Miss. Alright. Personal development and understanding other, that's me. Every employee has to understand themselves before understanding others. Alright? So, last point for today's class. Forces of organizational behavior. We have four forces of organizational behavior. It is people. People make up the internal social system in the organization. They consist of individuals and groups. 
second structure define the normal relationship and use of people in the organization and third technology technology impact and physical physical and economic condition which in which people work okay last but not least social system the social system provide external environment which in which the organization operates all right Okay, that's all our class today. We will continue the explanation to the next class. Thank you all. Goodbye.